Okay, let's talk about the Park Algebra 2 exam. And what we're going to do in this video is take a look at a quick practice problem that you should be able to solve, uh, hopefully rather easily, if you, uh, you know, are kind of really uh, learned what you needed to learn in Algebra 2. So the Park uh, Algebra 2 exam is given in several states. So if you're in one of these particular states, you're probably uh, getting ready to take the Park Algebra 2 exam, and that's why you're watching this video. So anyways, welcome, and uh, before we get going, let me go ahead and introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Taba Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher, and uh, over several uh, years, constructed many online math courses. I actually offer a Park Algebra 2 test prep course. I'm going to leave a link to that in the description of this uh, video, something you can check out if you like. But the um, purpose of this video is just a quick pop quiz, kind of, you know, see where you, you know, you're at in one small little uh, skill uh, that you learn in Algebra 2. So in Algebra 2, you learn a lot of material, okay? Um, you learn about logarithms, matrices, uh, polynomial uh, equations, etc. These are very large topics. Functions is another one. Rational expressions, etc., etc. So, huge, huge amount of information. But um, you know, along the way, you can't you know forget how to do very basic type things. I would say probably one of the core skills that you uh, learn as a student in algebra, whether it be pre-algebra, algebra one, algebra two is solving equations. And there's a lot of different type of equations that you solve. We solve system of equations, quadratic equations, linear equations, etc., radical equations. Um, and uh, so, you know, how you solve these equations are different. We just don't, there's not just one way to solve equations, right? So here I have a nice basic equation for you. And I'd like you to... Um, you know, pause the video and try to solve it. Now, uh, if you have a calculator, that's fine. You can use your calculator to help you along, but I want you to be able to show your work, right? Show me the steps uh, in how to uh, solve this equation, okay? Of course, I'm gonna solve it here, but I wanna give you an opportunity to at least think about it. Even if you don't know how to do it, stop and think about it, maybe just play around with it for a second. You know, like how would I approach this? You know, again, even if you don't remember, okay, now, if you want, okay, um, and you do have your notes nearby and you want to just quickly look at them, that's fine too. Okay, whatever you think, you know, you want to do is fine. But really, you know, I'm kind of just putting you on the spot to see if you can solve this equation right now. Okay, so let me go ahead and solve it. So what we have here um, is, well, we describe this as what we call rational uh, a rational roots equation, okay? So we have some sort of powers kind of going on, right? So if this, let's just look at a, another type of an equation real quick. Look, let's say if I had 5x squared is equal to 10, what type of an equation would this be? Well, hopefully you recognize this as a quadratic equation. So the way we would solve that, let's actually do this real quick. We would divide both sides of the equation by five and we have x squared is equal to uh, two. And then what we would do? Well, you'd have to take the square root of both sides. So x is equal to positive negative square root of two. Of course, all of you out there remember when we're dealing with quadratic equations, you're always gonna have two roots, uh, two solutions. So here we have a positive and negative. Uh, square root of 2 as our solution. So this is, you know, how we would approach this equation here. However, even though this looks very similar, this is a different situation because we have a fractional uh, power, okay? So how do we approach this? Well, we can actually write this equation uh, as a radical, okay? So we have to kind of uh, be able to go from radicals, okay, things like this, and we write them in terms of rational roots, okay? Things like like so, okay? Now, I'm not gonna turn this uh, video into an entire lesson on that, and by the way, you need to go the other way as well, but this is something that you should have a very firm understanding of in Algebra 2, okay? So anyways, I wanna set the stage for that, and now let's go ahead and solve this problem. All right, so first things first, um, 
you want to go ahead and isolate the variable and the power. So I'm going to go ahead and divide both sides of the equation by 5. That gives me x to the 2 thirds power is equal to 2. Okay, so hopefully I already got that. But now, what do I do with this? How do I, you know, address this situation? Well, I have x to the 2 thirds. If I'm trying to solve this, I'd like to just see this as just x is equal to, right? I have x to the 2 thirds is equal to 2, but I want to write this or do something such that I have just x is equal to whatever, right? That's my solution. But it's when you look at x, this is really x to the first power, okay? Of course, we just write this as x, but it's really x to the first power. So what I want to do is address this two-thirds and do something to this x to the two-thirds such that it turns out to be x to the first. Okay, so what can I do to address that? Well, let's go ahead and do that now. x to the two-thirds power, if I multiply this power by three halves, what do I get? Well, this is going to be x to the two-thirds. I distribute the three halves in there. I'm going to get x to the first. Okay, that's exactly what I'm looking to do. Okay, however, um, in algebra, as you well know, whatever I do to one side, I'm going to have to do the, the other side of the equation. So I'm going to have to take two and also raise it to the three halves power. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that now. So x to the two thirds uh, raised or um, taken to the three halves power is going to be x to the first or just x. So now I have uh, that equaling to two to the three halves power, okay? So what does that mean? Well, two to the three halves power, kind of look at it this way, that's the same thing as two to the one half, okay, raised to the third power, okay? So two to the one half is the same thing as a square root of two cubed, all right? So that's one form of your answer, but if you, as a, my student gave me this answer, I would go ahead and accept that. Now, of course, you can go into your calculator and take two and raise it to the three halves power. So let's go and do that now. Two raised to the three halves power. I'm gonna go ahead and show you something that is tremendously important. Hopefully you're still with me watching this video and you're gonna be happy that you uh, um, stuck around because this is a place where many students make an error. So they're going to their calculator and they go, okay, two to three halves uh, power. They'll go two to the, they'll take the little carrot, right? And it'll be the three divided by two power and they'll hit equal, okay? Well, if you did this, you're gonna get the wrong answer, all right? So what, what is this saying right here? Okay, this is saying two to the third power divided by two, okay? <laughs> This is one of the most common mistakes that I see when people, uh, students are messing around with powers, okay? So that is a big no-no, okay? So when you do this, you're going to have to go to, to the put parentheses, okay? You must have that grouping symbol, parentheses, 3 divided by 2, parentheses. And if you do that, you're going to get the right answer, okay? So just because you have a calculator, doesn't mean anything if you don't know how to use it uh, correctly. Okay, so anyways, hopefully you did pretty well uh, on this problem. Uh, even if you didn't get it completely right, if you kind of generally understood what was going on, that's excellent. And it's one thing, too, to watch me uh, solve the problem, like, oh, yeah, I remember how to do that. But if you didn't remember how to do it before the problem, you know, before I answered it, you know, that's what it's all about, okay? So remember, watching videos of people solve problems is not going to improve your math skills. You need to try the problems and then watch the solutions and uh, et cetera, okay? So again, Algebra 2, huge topic, um, and the PARC exam is very, very important uh, to, uh, you know, um, to your high school studies. So take it serious, and obviously, if you're watching this video, I see that you are. Okay, so let's go ahead and wrap up this video now. Um, if you like my teaching style, hopefully you consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. I have hundreds of videos currently on my channel that will help you out in Algebra 2. So, um, and I'm posting uh, new material all the time. If you enjoyed this video, I'd definitely appreciate a thumbs up and leave me some feedback. 
how did you like algebra two? Did you struggle with it? Did you find it easy? You know, uh, do you like math? Do you don't like math? You know, et cetera. Any feedback is good feedback. And lastly, uh, again, as a reminder, I have a fantastic uh, Park Algebra Two test prep course, super comprehensive. It's essentially all of Algebra Two. Um, you know, it's like a full, complete course, but you know, uh, it's a huge amount of material. I'm going to leave a link to that in the description of this video. But as a reminder, remember, always listen to your teacher first, okay, and uh, take advantage of all. Uh, the test prep material that you're given in class. Okay, do that. But if you need something above and beyond uh, what you're getting uh, from school or from your teacher, if you feel like you have that need, then a course like mine could definitely serve you well. But anyways, with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your high school uh, studies. Okay, take it serious because it's going to be over pretty quickly. <laughs> take it from me. And that was many, many decades ago. But uh, anyways, enjoy it. All this stuff is important. Thank you for your time and have a great day.